see if we got that. Hi, Din. Can you hear us? We need somebody to tell us they can hear us. Oh. You don't need to, yeah. You forgot how to do that? I forget every time. Tell us if you can hear us. Hello? Uh, yeah, you should be able to. I just saw my light blink here, so I'm thinking that it's working. I hear you from Oregon. Hi, Elaine. And Oregon. Terry. Uh huh. Julie says yes. Wow. So you're being heard live and I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a good <laughs> thing or a bad thing. All kinds of comments are popping up now. They're just uh -oh. telling, answering your question. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and my deal is spinning. There we go. All it right. Might just take a, everybody getting a good signal. I, I, our upload speeds are roughly around 12 megabytes. Hello right, from right Ohio. Here. Okay, we're a little early, but we're well, always. We always try to come on a little early because we are worried about technical difficulties. Well, yeah, and and that gives time for everybody to come on on and everything. Uh, Welcome to we... California and Michigan. All righty, hey, glad you all could join California, us. California, let's see, it's 6:30 here. It's 4:30. Well, it's not quite 6:30, so it's 4:30. Post wine, you wow. saw that, did you? <laughs> well, yeah. they did not give Bill any pain medication, no. so a little wine helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and speaking of, I'm going to have a little bit here. A uh, little wine, a little ibuprofen. You want some more, Deb? Sure. Just Well, we got to watch you and not let you have too much because you get real talkative when you have too much wine. Oh, listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Den, Den said that he was going to have his wine. Uh, that's right. Yeah, that's what he told me. That's what he told me. What you doing? Oh, I forgot to grab something out here and okay, out there in technical world. technical land. Yeah. yeah. Well, how's everybody doing? Is everybody doing okay? Are you? I'm fine. Okay. Well, continue. I'm, well, I'm trying to <laughs> see what the comments are, and you don't let me get up close to the mm -hmm. to the camera. Uh, so you know, I depend on you to to see it. So, and we're a little early, like I say. Yeah, uh, I think I I I recognize. Well, I'm not going to try to say what I see right now, but anyway, I can't help it. I got a little. Uh, hope all went well. Doing good. Hope you guys are. Yeah, all went well. All went well with the uh, with the surgery. It was a little grueling, to be honest with you, but we'll we'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. As soon as Deb gets through. Uh, figuring out all her other stuff so we'll be able to monitor comments easier on her phone. Well no, I wouldn't worry about all that stuff dear. Okay. I am um, uh, we can we I can. had visitors this afternoon, very important visitors. Yeah. So I had to uh visit visit with my company. A couple of the grandkids <laughs> came by and visited for a while. Very important visitors. Yes, I have some of my paintings still. Yeah. Um well, let's talk about that for a little bit since someone mentioned it and we'll we'll, we'll do it again here uh here's one of her paintings right here this is one of my favorites right here let's see if i can get that a little closer so you can see a little better um that she has for sale which which all goes of course to the building fund right dear absolutely yeah and uh if any of hey, you Beth, are, hi is beth on beth is on our beth our beth well uh, <laughs> I shouldn't who's, have said who, it like, who's else's Beth? I, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have said it like that. Uh, but anyway, here's this is also one of my favorites that she has done. Um, and let's yes, we're see. still in Arkansas. We head out next week. Yes, and we'll talk more about that here in just a little bit too. And this is another one of my favorites of Deb's paintings right here. And of course, she has a few others other than these, of course. And if anyone's interested in purchasing any of them, you can email us at iridetinyhouse at gmail.com. That's iridetinyhouse at gmail.com. And uh, if you want to see, if we've, we've scanned all of her paintings. 
If you want to get a good close-up look, hey, we'll Jason. be happy to send those to you, and then we'll discuss uh, everything from that point forward. Jason. Or Jason. Or Jason? Jason. Are yes, they... I know, Beth. I, I saw one of your paintings last time I put into your uh, podcast. Yeah. I saw that you still had it hanging, and that was that sweet of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure we've got a few of uh, your paintings in a few cargo conversion trailers throughout the country yes yeah i yes. know robert from ohio i think he has one or two of your paintings uh framed up and everything in, in one in his uh, cargo conversion i think he bought three uh it could be and uh, i don't know if he put all of them in his cargo conversion but well, uh, no i don't know he did say that i think he said he was going to do april it. did well, april did april put hers in her conversion and wow i think now, I, I'm talking out the top of my head. I thought April said they were coming to the rendezvous, but I well, could be wrong. Look who came to visit. See oh, if she'll did let you just decide to up. wake up? See if she'll let you pick her up and say hi right quick before she's we get, had an get down to business here. Day. Yeah, our baby Delilah. She's, Have you had an exhausting day? Yeah, so you can see if you can get her up here in the, better in the camera <laughs> so they can see her good. There she is. There she say is. Hi. She's, she's daddy's girl. Yes, she is. <laughs> she, uh, she likes to wake us up about four o'clock yeah. every morning and she's a little brat about that time. And finally we give up and we pull up YouTube and watch some of the folks so that we follow. So we've been YouTube. awake since four, yeah. 4.30 this morning. For the last three days in a row, I think. Of course, where we are right now, um, there's some kind of critter out there that drives her nuts about that time. And I'm sure that's what a, what a lot of it is. And of course, we're not just gonna open the door and let her run outside. Maybe we should, but I'm tempted. <laughs> <laughs> You're tempted. I am tempted. Anyway, um, uh, any questions? Anything we need to address before we start? No, they were just talking start? about Delilah, and we've got 59 have joined us so far. Great. And um, someone's asking your van, uh huh, your tow rig is yeah. what size? Ours is a Chevy Express 2500. Uh, it's a 2004 model. It's got 237,000 miles on it, and it still runs fabulous. It's it really runs great. I, we we just can't get over it. And maybe I shouldn't say that too much because Not you know. Good. Quick. Well, no, <laughs> I don't I don't I don't want to do that. That might jinx me. But but uh, right now it's over. It we ha we have our favorite mechanic here. That's one reason why we come back to to our home area. One of many. One of many reasons why we come back to our home area every 90 days. Uh, we also have Rick, our mechanic, uh, do a few odds and ends things. And right now what I've got him doing is uh, we're replacing the mass airflow sensor on it. And we're also, uh, uh, when we had the water pump, it, water pump issue about three months ago, when we left on our last loop, um, when we went to pull all the all the bolts out to, to pull the water pump out one of the bolts broke off and left about a quarter inch of the bolt sticking out uh, of the block and we just bolted the water pump back on without a bolt right there so he's pulling the water pump back off and uh, he's already got it done today as a matter of fact and he got that uh, broken bolt out of there and reinstalled the water pump with a fresh uh, uh, with a fresh bolt and uh, we went ahead and replaced the upper and lower radiator hose while we were at it, as well as the mass airflow sensor. But uh, we've been really, really pleased with it. It does a great job. Now, I have done some extra things to it as well. We also, right after we purchased it, we bought a uh, 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 auxiliary transmission cooler because we knew we were going to be doing a lot of towing with it. And we're really glad that we did, especially when we get back into the hills and mountains of Arkansas and and some of the uh, hills and mountains of Alabama and Georgia and places like that. And we also installed uh, airbags on the back, which helps us get it nice and level uh, when we're hooked up to the trailer. And it took me a while to find the sweet spot with the amount of air pressure I needed to carry in the airbags when I had the trailer hooked up. But I settled on uh, 25 pounds of pressure. 25 seems to be just perfect with everything. And actually, when the van is towing the trailer, it uh, it handles better towing the trailer than it does not towing the trailer, honestly. Question about the rendezvous. Uh-huh. 
all 18 going to be from this group do you know i don't know what the 18 number is uh last time we talked to the campground people managers owners the campground was totally full and they were taking uh, a list of uh, people for cancellations yeah now i don't know the number 18 i don't know that question i'm, I'm sorry but i don't know what you're what, really asking. what he's, he was wanting to know who who there was 18 all 18 are full he was wanting to know if we knew the people that were coming. oh yeah i know them all well i haven't met them but we I haven't have a met them all. But we, we have met a few of them, but not all of them. Some people have call, emailed me and texted us, emailed us, and told mm -hmm. us um, the number that they got. And I've gone ahead and yeah. added it to a list so that we have a general idea. Yeah. I believe someone contacted us the other day and said the campground was full, so they were going to a local state park and then was going to come over yeah. during the day. And write this down: those that would still like to attend the rendezvous, which you'll be able to come over to the rendezvous anytime. Uh, one state park that we would recommend you try if you can't get into the uh, to the campground. Uh, Lee, I believe there are, uh, we were in number 28, so I know there's a lot more than 18 spots, camp spots, at Itchitokne. Well, no, I, I think you're, uh, some of those numbers okay. also applied to the cabins. Okay. There's only really 18 spots with full hookups for rvs there as far as the, i know they are all going to be cargo trailers we do have a couple that are coming in that are just interested in the whole cargo trailer conversion concept yeah um so it's going to be an interesting gathering i think oh we're going to have a lot of fun i mean I, I sometimes i wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it and wishing the time was here and thinking about all the good times that we're going to have now we do need to mention one thing, and I don't, I, you, and don't hold me to this. <clears throat> Marvin says Bill is correct. Bill is correct. What are you trying to do, Marvin? <laughs> hey, Marvin knows. Mar you know, when they cut this hole on top of my head, they still left a few brains in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, you know, if you watch the video that we did about the campground itself, uh, which is like the second or third back from our most recent video it's it's still up there on some of our most recent videos we talked about the north 40 which does it it's all primitive area back in there and i think they more or less they don't actually reserve any spots back there i think it's first come first hi serve. from northern ireland awesome wow fabulous north Fab ireland's on my bucket list yeah someday. ireland someday <laughs> Um, Someday. They tell me that I have uh, Irish, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm from Irish, uh, mm -hmm. I have some Irish in me, let me put it that way, right? Yes. But uh, I was redheaded. Okay, we got a few questions about your surgery. Okay. Well, I, let me finish talking about the, the back 40. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, I think those are all first come, first serve back there, but if you do call Itchituckney, uh Campground, and refer back to the video that we did so you'll get the right one because there is an Itchituckney Springs Campground just down the road. But this one is called Itchituckney Family Canoe and Campground, I believe is the way they word it. I believe it. Yeah. that's true. There's also a camp campground just down from there, not very far, called Itchituckney Springs Campground. And it is not a state park. <laughs> but then there is a state park nearby mm -hmm. and the fees are only like $18 a night. If yeah. I remember correctly, at least they were when we were there. It's Olino. Write this down. Olino State Park, which is between uh, Fort White and High Springs, Florida, right in there. And it's only maybe 20 minutes from where the rendezvous will be or so. 20 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes maximum right there. And that's another place you might be able to go if you want to attend. But you could still come and visit with people during the day. Bring your umbrella chairs, lawn chairs, sit around and visit with folks, you know. Absolutely. Uh, uh, we got all kinds of ideas of things we're going to do. They have a uh, pavilion there, and, and they've, they've told us that it's more or less ours to do if what we want to with. you play the guitar or whatever, bring that. Bring musical instruments. I will have a small PA system there. Uh, so you can plug in a guitar if you want to play and some stuff. And we have thought about some of our followers have been living the life for a long, 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 long time. And uh -huh. they have some really interesting stories. So we thought we might try to do a story time. 
Yeah, we may we may do it more than once. We might do yeah, it. Yeah, during the week. Because we have we have set the most of the folks that we've met and some of these are folks Hey Jesse that we, and Felicity. Some of these folks are people that we know that are coming. They have some wonderful stories to tell. And yes. uh, you know, about their, their camping experiences over the years. So we just thought it might be nice to have a storytelling time, you know. We'll hand them a microphone and uh, Well they may some of them may be shy. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll I'll help them. I'll help them get over that. Yeah, Deb and I will kind of MC the thing, but uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. If there's a way you can find a way to come, you know, figure it out. But call Itchatuckney Family Canoe and Campground, which all the information there, and we'll go ahead and post a, a link to their campground at the end of when we shut this down. We'll go ahead and post a link there so you can refer to it in the description and also we'll pin it in the first comment so it'll be easy to find so you can go ahead and call if you'd like to look into doing that and i believe the dates are again were february 21st yes, do you have february. that written <laughs> 21st through the 28th 21st through the 28th yes he waits and asks me questions yeah. like that after he's now i will tell you morning. this and we may talk about this we'll go live again in a month or so or whatever you know we're not going to do this all the time but the campground was calling me and telling me that i needed to extend this rendezvous for an extra week and if it looks like they're still getting bombarded with calls and everything deb and i is going to be there we may go ahead and do what we might call a second wave for for a second week or something like that um, because there will be some openings there you know uh, availabilities there so we may look into doing that, but for right now, we're just going to see how things go before we, we commit to Thank that. Thank you, well. Marvin, for helping Lee and answering that question. For some reason, I wasn't getting what she was asking, was but that? it seems like you did. Okay. Marvin did it. All right. Good. 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 Okay. The surgery. Who wants to know about the surgery? Oh, well, we've had a few questions. Some people okay. uh, have gone through basically the same thing. Of course, yeah. it's common. Um, yeah. Let's... Um, what, what happened was um, I had had a little spot there for the last several months, and I really didn't pay it, it, For a long, long time, it just looked like a scab. It looked like he just bumped it. Yeah, it looks like I just kind of, and I'm a tall dude, so you all know, you know. Um, but here in the last three weeks or so, it took on a whole different look. And really the best way to describe it, it kind of it was kind of mounded up around the edges and then the right in the middle it, it looked like, like a blackberry yeah, yeah it was it was kind like of, it was swollen like a little inner tube yeah yeah and the inside of it looked like a blackberry yeah. and it was like oh my gosh bill this doesn't look good yeah. so i had my regularly scheduled appointment with my regular doctor you know where they do the blood work and all that stuff and then that gives them an opportunity to chew on me later and tell me that i need to change they this and, change. Chew on and they me. didn't know i got a really good doctor <laughs> yeah. and i've been really working hard to keep my blood sugar in order and stuff and here i am sipping wine right now but there's a reason wine why is good for you it's true does well, the good outweigh the bad yes <laughs> In moderation. Everything's in moderation. But anyway, I took my hat off and showed it to him. And he says, Bill, that has got to come off. So um, he contacted a uh, dermatologist. And um, uh, and, I, and kudos to the dermatologist. It was the whole clinic. The whole clinic in Bella Vista. Actually, they have several offices in northwest Arkansas. But the one we ended up going to was the one in Bella Vista. And... I told her my schedule that we're leaving on the 15th and everything. So all of a sudden they worked me in um, to a doctor to get the surgery done. They called me last Saturday and said, we have an opening Monday at eight o'clock. Can you be there? And I said, you bet. So anyway, um, and they said to plan on taking a while because what they'll have to do is dig it out. Then they go, it takes a little while to go look at it under a microscope. They're looking for clean margins around it. Then they may call you back and want to do some more. So I got to be prepared to hang around for a while. And to make a long story short, they called me back in three times. Yes. Yeah. And um, of course, each time they called me in, they deadened it more, you know, with the, uh, what is it, lanocaine or lanocaine or whatever that stuff is they use. Mm -hmm. And all I've really felt was the sensation of them, you know, digging and sawing. <laughs> <Didn't> saw. <laughs> digging and sawing um, and uh, 
And then, of course, when they when they finally told me after the third time that they finally got it all, then they shot more deadener in there again and started sewing me up. And when they went to sew everything up, because they cut so much away, and it was a pretty, I'll take my hat off and show you in a minute. No, you those, won't. <laughs> there are weak stomachs out there. Anyway. Well, what we'll do, we'll warn everybody and those that have a weak stomach. They Turn actually, away. <laughs> it, looks pretty, it doesn't look near like it did. But so what they what they did when they finally um, decided they got it all, uh, they uh, they had to stitch it back up. Well, in order to get it all closed up, they had an extra guy there, an assistant, and they were literally grabbing hold of my skin and pushing it together. And I mean, pushing it tight. You got pushing a face lift. I, if it had been me, I would have had them do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> My ears are an inch higher than they used to be right now. <laughs> so, but, but anyway, that's how they do it until they got it stitched up. And then they saw a little bitty spot behind all that, and they thought, well, they better biopsy that because it looked like it could become something later. And so they went ahead and dug it out. But the doctor, he said, well, I know you're not going to be back till July. We're planning on being our next time to come back here is July the 1st. So he, he said, I'm going to go ahead and dig a little more than I normally would uh, because I know you're gonna, not going to be back till July. And then we will uh, see what we got to do after that. But that'll help slow it down in case we have to go back in. So it looks like I may be, uh, I may be regularly visiting my dermatologist for a little while each time we come back. But um, the cancer was what they call uh, squamish cell carcinoma. Uh, which fortunately that is not melanoma. Uh, it can become serious if you let it go. Uh, and I probably was on the edge of letting it go. No, you weren't. It, okay. Whatever you say. I wasn't going to let him. Well, I know, but it, uh, it started looking ugly pretty quick and yes, and I hadn't really told you about it, but I'd had a few problems with it before then. But anyway, mm -hmm. but, um, they, they dug a pretty good chunk. And for those of you that need to hey, turn prepare away. prepare yourselves. Uh, and <laughs> so you'll know, I have a bandage in my hat, okay? Yes, the doctor said that was the good. Yeah, so I keep a bandage in my hat, and it also works as a bumper. So here we go. I don't know. Is it is it where they can see it, dear? Look in the phone. Oh. Is that? Is that? There you go. Raise up okay. just a little. There you are. Oh, my heavens. Yeah, I, I don't know what they're looking at, so... Anyway, but that's uh, that's it. Actually, considering all the all they took out, and it, this, is the divot still showing, or is it, it look like it's filling in now? It's starting to fill in. Okay, I actually had a area about this wide after they stitched it all up, where it was about a quarter inch deep, and uh, uh, I didn't realize we had that much flesh on top of our head. Just you know, Felicity says, "Oh wow, it looks like they used a chainsaw." And yeah, they probably did. <laughs> He said they did. I could be in a horror movie, couldn't I? <laughs> I could be. Uh, yes, a lot of people have had this done, and and, yeah, and yeah. we do appreciate you understanding that. Yes, we know he'll get better. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be but fine. The problem is, is the Novocaine has worn off. <laughs> well, whatever that was, they use yeah, it's worn that off. Was. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just took some ibuprofen a little while ago, and mm -hmm. then the wine that I'm sipping on here is enhancing it a little bit. But you know, folks, there are so many folks out there that went through. A whole, and I'm going to use a four-letter word. There's folks that went about there that's went through a whole hell of a lot more than we have. Yes. And and you know, and we feel for these folks. So we're not going to let this slow us down. Yeah. Are we? No. no. It's just like I was talking to our grandchildren no. today. Um, we are all about let's live life to the fullest, and these little things that happen along the way, it's just things for us to overcome. Yeah. And keep on doing what we're doing. Keep on living. Keep on enjoying life. Seeing yeah. things we've never seen before. Yeah. We're not going to feel sorry for ourselves or anything. Because, yeah. like I said, you know, there are so many people out there that are going through a whole bunch more than what we are going through and have been through with, with Deb's little cancer she had on her tongue. And, by the way, she went for her regular checkup while she was here. And, and she's still doing fine Yep. on that. So, uh uh, and, and that doctor wants to see her for at least another year, every 90 days for at least another year. 90, that, every 90 to to sure. days to four months. He's, he's yeah. pretty easy because he understands what we're doing. Yeah. Cause I've explained it to him several times, um, yeah. that we are traveling and we're doing different things and it's really difficult to get back. 
yeah. every 90 days. We're trying really hard. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things that we do. Plus, we get to see the kids. Yeah. And we get to see our friends. And we get to play cards. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a good time. Our, our friends, Sam and Kathy, they, uh, they love to play cards. And, and their favorite game is hand and foot. And I hardly ever win. And I still don't think I've won yet. Fireball is for internal medicinal. Who said purposes. that? They just said you might want to pour some fireball on your head. Well, that would. <laughs> no, that that don't go up here. That's going it when it's when it's time for that. But anyway, uh, but yeah, our friends Sam and Kathy, they love to play hand and foot. And used to, I was always dead last, no matter what. Because Sam is just really, well, Sam and Kathy both are really good. I think they just yeah. let us win last time. You think that's what it was? <laughs> uh, no, I really, really concentrated this time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Did they but, use the MOS procedure? Yes, that is what they called it. Oh, really? Yes. What is that? I don't know. I didn't know uh, When they go in, cut, look at it, oh, come yeah. back and cut. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's a weird feeling. You know, you don't feel any pain, but you feel this, <laughs> you know, and you and it's reverberating, you know, through your bone structure and everything and, and into your ears. It's kind of it, weird. It's just something that if you notice something like this, you need to go get it taken care yeah. of because it can develop into something yeah. else. Yeah, and, and uh, you know. Something we don't want to deal no, with. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't want to let that go. I mean, that, mm -mm. and it's, it, and believe it or not, now we have, we have Medicare, of course. And we have our Medicare through Humana, and we don't do not have a supplement. But this was an in-house procedure, and my forty-dollar copay took care of it. We were shocked. Yeah, we were. So it's like yeah. woohoo! And then of course they gave us a a special antibiotic cream, prescription only anti antibiotic cream that we apply to it, and then they gave me an oral antibiotic, and each one of those were a ten-dollar copay uh, through Humana. So if you're on Medicare, if you're on straight Medicare, it's called point. post Concord. Okay. <laughs> post. Yeah. Now we want to warn you, but let me, let me talk about this first. If you're on straight Medicare, straight Medicare sucks, <laughs> you know, go in and get set up with a company that handles Medicare like Humana and there's uh, several others out there, There's several. but look and see who has the best plan but for your state. Uh, for your state, you know, but, uh, but the in-house surgery, when I was there for, I was started at eight o'clock and I finally drove away at two ish. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and then they went through all this, you know, of, of, uh, uh sawing on me and, <laughs> and everything all those times. So all that time that the, that the doctor spent on that, of course he was doing others at the same time, you know, but, um, uh, all that time that was spent there. And everything, the whole thing ended up was an out of pocket expense on my part of sixty dollars total, plus the forty to go in for the console. So if you add that, so it was a hundred bucks total for everything. When I first went to see the dermatologist, and then when I went back for the surgery, a hundred dollars, boom, done. And that's uh, Medicare through Humana, which is what we have through the state of Arkansas. Now there may be better plans in other states, so uh, you know check into that for sure that's your 10 cents worth that's my 10 cents worth now the post wine yes typical typical wine is what six percent alcohol oh sometimes you can find it seven eight yeah somewhere in there this is 19 percent, and the way they arrive at 19 percent alcohol is they mix brandy with it this i think this is why we like it so well <laughs> probably <laughs> but uh, and you cannot get it just everywhere. yeah yeah doubt if you can get it well, it, we're out it, of Arkansas where right. we've got a real hard time getting yeah, it. Yeah, we have a hard... In fact, we couldn't find it anywhere when we were out mm -hmm. of Arkansas. We can only get it when we're in Arkansas. So we so come far. up with an, our own formula. Yeah, do you want to tell them about it? <laughs> no. You want to go ahead and tell them about our formula? So we, we came discovered? up with a little formula that's similar. It's very close. It's red wine. And with that... Just cheap old red wine. Yeah, doesn't matter. Just red wine. Carlo and Rossi, whatever. Yeah. And to that, we add... Hiram Walker blackberry brandy yes and the formula i use is three cups of wine to one cup of brandy yeah and we get a similar taste very similar taste uh, and uh the uh mellow factor is very similar <laughs> you know <laughs> so so anyway anything more before we go on nope okay. um how many we got on there now 
We have 138. Fabulous. Thank you Fantastic. Very, Thank very, you. very much. Yeah. Uh, we have an update about the trailer. Yeah. It's uh, it's going to be ready here before too long. Uh, all they were waiting on, and it only takes them like two days to actually build the trailer. Okay. And all they are waiting on is uh, the, we went with the thicker skin. And of course, we're going with red again. And red, we got to go with red because that's our trademark. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, the new uh, the skin they were out of stock of the O three O thickness skin, and they said that uh, they expected, and this was a week ago. They said they expected delivery of that between the, in the next one to two weeks, but that was a week ago. <laughs> so we're keeping in touch with them on that. We feel confident that by the time we get to uh, Georgia, Southeast Georgia, to deliver this to the new owners, the one we're in now we feel confident that it will be time to go pick up the other one. And what is really neat about our situation is the new owners that have purchased this one, they have uh, a small plot of property there and they have the things that we need to do the initial build. They're going to let us, and, the, and hookups, they're going to let us uh, park this trailer there, the one we're in now, which is theirs, uh, live in it while we're doing the initial stage of the build on the new one. That was okay. very generous of them. Yeah, very generous of them. And so it's that's one reason why we went this way with these folks is because everything else fell into place, you know. So, uh, but we, we feel confident that when we arrive there, which will be around the 21st of this month, we're going to take about a week we're leaving here the 15th in Northwest Arkansas, the 15th of April. And we have three stops along the way or two. We're going to, um, near Little Rock, near Little Rock. And then we're going down to, uh, Alabama uh -huh. and then across south of, uh, south of, uh, Birmingham, right to a campground. And then we're going to that one, which uh -huh. is another one. Oh, that's the next one. And then we're going, and so we're going on yeah. yeah, three stops, six days, three stops. Yeah. We're going to, stay two days at each one. Um, uh, you know, uh, we're not going to just push it all the way through. We're, we can't be lying anymore. No, no, we can't. Delilah can't. No. It's just too rough on all of us. And, um, so, so we're breaking it up because you know what we can. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll arrive at Claxton, Georgia about that time. And you're probably going to see a few videos from us along the way. We'll go ahead and showcase the campgrounds that we're going to be staying at along the way. Isn't that right? You well, know, sure. Show you. They Absolutely. won't be. They won't be major videos, but they will at least show you the ones we discovered and our thoughts about them before we go on. And then, of course, we're going to videotape uh, when we pick up the trailer and everything, and that should be exciting. We're really looking forward to that. How long with, will the new build take? Well, how long will it take and how long we hope it takes might be two different things. Yeah. We we're, hope we can get it. Oh, you want to answer that? We are hoping. Yeah that we have it ready by the middle of July to head up north Yeah. to um, Minnesota. I mean, someone already said I had a case of, you know, when you, you promised me a case of something, I, I, now I've missed it, case of whiskey, Rose's whiskey, waiting for me in Minnesota. Awesome. Who's that? Um, Paul and Julie. Oh, yeah. So that is our hope and desire is to be following the Mississippi River up yeah. and um, for the month, last part of July, August, and the end of September, 1st of September, because I have to be back here October 15th. Right. Yeah. For a multitude of reasons. Wedding. Yeah. Our daughter, our granddaughter's granddaughter. wedding is going to well, be Well, she October. had one of those weddings last year where nobody could come. And so they're doing a renewal of vows this October. So let's talk about the trip, though, to Minnesota for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but look, to clarify, the, and let's go ahead and answer that one about how long it will take. We're hoping we get it all completed in three months or less. Yes, that, yeah. that's the goal. Uh, we've been racking our brain. And since we this build here taught us a lot of stuff about organization. And when we did this one, we were running, you know, flying blind the whole time. Well, we're not going to be flying blind this t this time. We there are a lot of things that we know what to expect. A lot of the things we did in this one, we will be doing in the next one. Yeah, exactly. But we we already know the stuff that we need to have on hand for the first two weeks of the bill or the first three weeks of the bill, 
and we're going to do part of the build in, uh, in, in the Southeast Georgia area. Then we have another spot we're moving to down near Tallahassee with another follower that has a place for us. So we can, they're going to help us with uh, other things like getting the mini split air conditioner mounted and all hooked up and running right and things like that. So, uh, uh, we <laughs> hope single cast, not case. I misunderstood. Sorry. <laughs> single case, a uh, single, single cast. Oh, <laughs> well, she's got like three glasses of wine right now, you know, so, Hey, Hey, I'm fine. Oh, you are. Huh? Okay. How much will your re new trailer weigh? I don't know. Well, we can guesstimate. I'm hoping this one and here again, and I've, and I said this two or three times, but it never happened. And I really need to get that done. We have always estimated this particular trailer to weigh in around 5,000 pounds or a little bit less is what we've always estimated. Yes. Um, it tows really, really nice, and the van doesn't struggle at all, except when I get on grades like this, you know, and of course, most anything except a Cummins diesel is going to do that, but, um, but the only, we're not going to really be adding that much weight on the inside. It, we won't be adding any more interior weight on the inside as we did on this one. So I'm hoping that the only additional weight will be what the trailer started out weighing before we ever started the build. This particular trailer weighed in around 2,200 pounds before we started the build. So I'm hoping that the next trailer after we finish it is going to weigh in uh, six or less, 6,000 pounds or less. Uh, that, that's, my, that's my goal. And I really need to try to take time and run through some scales somewhere, but should, we've just never had time to run through scales with this one to figure out exactly how much it weighs. All we can do is go by our estimation based on the fact that we knew how much it weighed when we started and we weighed every ounce of material before we started the build. And when I say we weighed every ounce of the material, what we did, uh, this particular plywood, that particular plywood, we figured up how much each type of plywood weighed per square foot. And then we added up the square footage of everything that we had put in here, and that's how we arrived at those weights. We knew how much the refrigerator weighed. We knew how much the shower stall weighed. We knew how much all the trim pieces weighed. We knew how much all the ceiling panels weighed per square foot because we weighed them based on that. And then we added everything up, and that's how we arrived at the uh, estimated weight that we have. Um, so, uh, and honestly, I don't expect to add any more weight in the next build. If anything, the actual added weight will be either that or less uh, because of the difference in the design. So, so we're hoping the next one will weigh in roughly around 6,000 or less. How else can I explain it? That sounds perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds perfect. Whatever it ends up weighing, we're going to be fine with it. And the reason why we say that. Here this, again, David, the gentleman, the couple that purchased this trailer are going to let us park the new trailer on their property and build. The, you know, they said we could stay there the whole time, but we don't want to take advantage of that. No. But, um, so we're able to stay there and build the new trailer up to where to the point where we can actually live in it eat sleep and go to the bathroom and shower <laughs> and then we're going down to florida on another gentleman's property and hopefully getting it more livable and this particular person in florida has a certain expertise that we want to tap into right so. and it, it and it was very it all worked out so beautifully because when bill first mentioned that this trader was for sale and we started getting people interested it was like oh my gosh have you thought this through this is our home where are we gonna live yeah <laughs> so yeah. The we don't couple, have a house the couple where that bought this trailer had everything and and it all worked out perfectly so it's yeah. it's um it's just one of those things but let's get back to the weight for a little bit there's something i was a point that i was wanting to try to make uh a uh, commercially available rv rv the same size as this one will weigh less than this one does but we have traveled 
a lot of miles with this one in the last two years, and we've been down some really more rough miles roads. Than, I'm shocked. I mean, more <laughs> miles than we actually thought that we had when we started adding them up. I would I would guesstimate uh, 15, uh, 12 to 15,000 miles. You know, it is really it's, adds it's up amazing. before you know it. It's amazing. Yeah. Not a single screw has come loose in this thing. Nothing. Uh, we haven't had to deal with anything like that at all. Nothing. Nothing at all. The only issue that we ever had, and we never talked about it, but the only thing that ever went wrong with this trailer, and that was because of a lightning storm, was uh, our uh, charger converter, our converter charger, uh, quit working. And uh, we figured out when it stopped, and we remembered lights flickering and things like that. And uh, when the lightning struck so close, it, well, I have almost every circuit on this trailer has a GFCI plug on it to protect it. Almost every single circuit in this trailer, except for the circuit <laughs> that runs to the, to the converter charger. And, uh, but That's anyway, poor planning on our part. Yeah. It's easy to fix though. What were we thinking? I don't know, <laughs> but, uh, and, and and the circuit that that uh, runs that powers the uh, converter charger is a circuit all by itself, and that's the only issue that we've had. Of course, we ordered one from Amazon. Took about three days to get here. During it, fortunately, we were at a spot where we had uh, water at the site, so we didn't have to depend on the pump or anything like that in order to have lighting to get us by during that time because everything else was run by shore power. In order to have lighting, we went down to Dollar General and bought some uh, $7 table lamps, and that's how we had lighting until the new converter charger came in. And when the new converter charger arrived, it took 10 minutes to swap it out, and we were back in business. But my whole point is, you know, here again, can you say that, uh, like I say, not a single screw has come loose in this thing. Everything is still exactly the way we built it two years ago, over two years ago. Everything is still the same. Everything still works. Everything, you know, no issues, nothing. We haven't had to concern ourselves with, sorry, babe, haven't had to concern ourselves with anything like that. Can we say the same thing if we would have bought a regularly manufactured, basic, R, commercially available RV that would have cost us over $20,000, probably more. That one we were interested in was twenty four, if I remember correctly. Can we say that we would have the same experience with that after we travel the amount of miles we have and the roads that we've been down all that all during that time you know i'm thinking no that we can't say that we'd have the same experience but uh, and we've watched we follow a lot of youtubers that travel in regular quote unquote rvs cut bill off he's had too much fortified wine <laughs> who said that uh one of our children oh well <laughs> which one uh felicity Oh, Felicity. <laughs> I haven't even got started, Felicity. But anyway, but you know what we're talking about, Felicity, because you guys have a conversion. You know? Okay. So anyway. We have 149 awesome. on, and we really, really appreciate you all joining us. Um, once again, we do have, I do have some paintings left. We are, what? Oh, I was going to show them your new glasses you bought. Oh, those were just dollar store glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Because the theory behind it was if I got smaller glasses, see, these are pretty big. <laughs> and the theory was if I got smaller glasses, I'd dr we'd drink less wine. I don't think so. Doesn't seem to work. <laughs> what else is, what else is being said there? Uh, uh, but anyway. Some things just can't be unseen. Let's show them your, your uh, paintings okay. again, which are for sale. Um, there's one of them. She has others. We're going to show you just three, highlight three here, but there's one right there. And this one here with the deer in it is one of my favorites right here. Yeah, right there. And then uh, this one here. And if any of these interest you, they are for sale, plus a few others that she has. Uh, email us at iridetinyhouse at gmail.com, iridetinyhouse at gmail.com, and we'll get all the particulars to you, right? That's right. Anything else? Uh, let's see. We've covered your surgery. We've covered the new trailer. We've covered the paintings. 
We just really appreciate you all. Um, we're questions? almost up to how many subscribers? Uh, almost 14,000. Real close. Yeah, we're and we close. really appreciate all yeah. of you guys for coming along on our journey. Yeah. And we, yes, we will be documenting the build. Absolutely. Uh, step by step by step. And I'm trying to keep, uh, I've already started ordering some things. Uh, some people had sent us an Amazon gift card, and I just spent the last $18 of that this yeah. morning. <laughs> ordering some stuff for the trailer. For so the we build. are trying to get things ordered because we know, like Bill said, we, we built one before, so we kind of have a general idea of what yeah. we will need to in, have in on certain stages. stages. And um, so we're trying to stay on top of that. And on this build, um, we're going to take you through it step by step on this build. Not only are we going to take you through it step by step, beginning with pulling the interior paneling off the wall, covering how we are going to do the insulation on ours doesn't mean that you have to do the insulation that way on yours. And here again, we can't stress that stuff enough. Doesn't mean that we think this is the way everybody should do stuff. No, okay? no, no, no. There's We're so many gonna, great ideas out yeah, there. Yeah, and maybe you can glean something from it, or maybe it'll give you an idea again, for we, something you want to do. We have gotten some ideas from us. From Absolutely. <laughs> But we're going to Still cover every few. step beginning with the very first screw we pull out of the paneling that the existing paneling is in the wall, going through the insulation process, uh, going through uh, the, you know, the new paneling on the walls, insulating our method of insulating the floor the way we're going to do it, the way we do the ceiling. And then, of course, uh, how we're going to mount our shower, how we're going to utilize this, uh, this sump pump system to pump the gray water. Uh, up into the internal gray water tank that will be mounted in the trailer under the bed uh, and a multitude of other things but we're going to take you all through it step by step um, and we're also going to cover the cost beginning with the original cost of the trailer and every single item we purchase and we will keep a running tally on the cost as we do the build so you'll be able to see exactly what this costs, that costs, and that costs, and then we will reveal, of course, the total cost when we finally get done. Uh, that is our plan. Uh, we want everybody to know it. We want to show uh, as much as we possibly can about what is entailed, the total, in total uh, involved in building this trailer, and uh, you might see some ways you can save money on your bill uh, based, you know, according based on what we do. Because everyone's priorities right. are different. And and that's true. That's the thing. Everyone's priorities are different. So, but we will, uh, that's the way we will cover it as we go. And like I say, we don't expect people to build them exact. We don't want you to build it exactly the way we build ours, but we're hoping that we will help folks with some ideas of things that maybe they'd never thought about before. Right? Well, sure. Because yeah. like I said, some of the ones that we have toured it's like okay i like that idea yeah absolutely yeah that's a great idea why did we think of that yeah well <laughs> guess what we're gonna do it right yes we are yeah any other questions there uh no i, I, I just i just so. want to try to cover as much as possible before we say no. goodbye how long have we been on by the way say a big party when we reach twenty thousand. yes absolutely. and felicity maybe you can help me with that <laughs> oh did she say that yeah, she's the one that said the party. She didn't volunteer. <laughs> oh. You know, we lost, we were talking about the Minnesota trip thing. Oh, yes. After July. What our plan is, and we've already got one couple that has agreed to, to caravan with us on this trip. But we met some folks here a while back here at this campground we're at right now that are from the Chicago area. And they mentioned to me, and we should have known this because we always promote uh, Corps of Engineer campgrounds. And he told us that there are Corps of Engineer campgrounds pretty much all the way up and down the Mississippi River, just about everywhere where there's a lock and dam, there's going to be a Corps of Engineer campground nearby. So we got to thinking, why wouldn't it be cool to take a trip to Minnesota, because we've got this follower that keeps saying, come to Minnesota, come to Minnesota. <laughs> and I always say, I'll be in Minnesota in August, so it'll work out that way. But wouldn't it be cool? To, to plan our trip in such a way where we could spend time all, all the way up and down to Mississippi because we really get a kick out of the uh, commercial waterways. We, Our favorite campgrounds so far that we've stayed at have been on commercial waterways, yeah. like the Arkansas River, the Tom Bigby 
uh, uh, waterway. We just really love that one there at Pickensville, Alabama. So we thought, hey, let's do this trip from here all the way up the Mississippi until we get to Minnesota. And then, of course, we'll figure out how we want to come back down after that. Right. Um, just so we're back here in the northwest Arkansas area. Uh, in October so the trailer sometime. needs to be livable. Yes. By the middle of July. And we're free to travel up that loop until the middle of October. Yeah. So maybe. So that's our that's our plan. Our maybe <laughs> we can put together some kind of a caravan for that. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, that is that too many events in one year? Might I mean, be. Have that and then have the <laughs> rendezvous in Florida in February. Could be. Um, hmm. Anyway. I don't know. Y'all let us know what you think about something like that. What do you say? Someone said it might be a war zone. <laughs> Where are there? Where? Why would that be? It's just a joke. Ah. <laughs> just anyway. a joke. Yeah. Anyway, anything else before we go? Any other? I don't Does think Does anybody so. have a quick question they want to address right quick before we go? Any thoughts about a non-standard hitch or sway bar? Well, on the new one, I don't use a sway bar on this. Well, I don't use an equalizer hitch on this particular trailer. I don't need one on this trailer. The trailer tows fabulous. I am going to use an equalizer hitch. I don't know if I'll go ahead and add a sway bar to it uh, on the new trailer because it's going to be wider. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking that I might need to go ahead and do that. And it's going to be a 20 footer as opposed to a 16 footer. So um, now it is going to have an extended tongue just like this one. I would never, ever, ever, ever order any cargo trailer since I've had one with an extended tongue. Any cargo trailer that I buy from this point forward will always have an extended tongue. There is a world of difference between how they tow between a standard tongue and an extended tongue. Actually, what I'm doing is making an Excel spreadsheet uh, and keeping track of all of our builds. And I can always save that over to a PDF for those that are interested That's in, a cool thought. in seeing it. Uh, yeah. Someone said we needed to make a Google one um, so that, you know, if you're really, if you're interested, we're going to be more than happy to share this information. Um, you know, cost change, and we're not counting labor, of course, because it's us. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's me, and Deb has a special whip. Well, we're going to video it more carefully this time, and we'll see. What? Huh. What? We'll see. What? Well, we'll see. Deb always gives me this list this morning, uh, of a morning, about that long of things she expects me to get done. That isn't true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start. I'll show you all the list each morning when we start. Who did you order your trailer from? We got it through, uh, we, of course, we're getting it through from Douglas, Georgia. That's the mecca of uh, trailer manufacturers in the southeast part of the country in Douglas, Georgia. There are several trailer uh, manufacturers there. Ours is being built by Rock Solid Cargo. Uh, we went with Rock Solid Cargo again because this one is a Rock Solid Cargo trailer and we are very pleased with it. Uh, what pleases us the most about this particular trailer is when we sent them a diagram of where we wanted the windows, the doors and everything, it, you know, when we gave them exact measurements, they were within a quarter inch of, ev of everything, you know, where the windows were supposed to go and everything. So the next one's being built by Rock Solid. Let me finish this right quick. The, 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 this, the next one is being built by Rock Solid Cargo, and this time the broker we went through is Renown Cargo Trailer Sales. Renown Cargo Trailer Sales. And our salesperson is Tucker. Tucker is a wonderful young man. We highly recommend if you want to look into getting a, a, a cargo trailer spec'd out, uh, contact Tucker at Renown Cargo Trailer Sales. It's it's just Google it, it'll pop up. And when you call, ask to speak to Tucker. Well, Lee says he uses Jennifer at Renown. Well, that, and that's and fine too. So <laughs> I think I accidentally talked to Jennifer one day. I think you did Yeah, too. I think I did. <laughs> yeah. and, and Felicity says, uh oh, if you would get the list done in one day, you wouldn't have so much to do the next day. <laughs> <laughs> of course you say that, Felicity. <laughs> Sometimes I really feel sorry for Jesse, you know what I mean? It's, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesse, are you watching? 
I feel your pain, brother. Uh I do. (laughs) We love you guys. We really do. Felicity and Jesse, uh, Jesse and Felicity, whatever. Uh, Their channel is called Happy Place Camping. You need to check them out. Happy Place Camping. Uh, We did a walkthrough video on their particular conversion, and they have made a few changes since we did the walkthrough on theirs. Well, and, that's, that's uh, just part of this life. <laughs> and their dog, their dog is the sweetest thing in the world. Their dog's name is Darby. If I'm, you know, I haven't had too much wine, Felicity. But check out their uh, channel, A Happy Place Camping. Okay. Yes. Anything else? I don't think so. Yeah. We've really enjoyed visiting with you guys, and we're getting ready to hit the road next week. Yeah. And we're excited about starting the build. We have built it in our minds how many times? Oh, man. <laughs> Unreal. All night How long. many times we built it in our minds, and then each morning we wake up with this epiphany that we had. You know, uh, she has an epiphany, and I have an epiphany. What if we did and, this? Yeah, yeah. What if we me. moved this and changed yeah. this? Yeah, I know, and I'm sure that's going to happen a couple times during the build itself. I know it will. I know it will. And I mean, because that's it's, all part of it's it. one thing to have it here, and it's another thing to have a 3D drawing, which we've got, which is awesome. Yeah, but to actually see while you're working on it it's yeah. a whole other story yeah so. where uh uh the uh suspense is uh, the excitement is building yes how can i say this uh we've been stationary here now this is our third week here in this area because we had a lot of stuff we had to get done and we are just itching if we could hook up tomorrow <laughs> we would hook up tomorrow <laughs> and head out but we've got a few more things we got to get accomplished before Plus, we leave. Plus, the trailer's not quite ready yet. Right, right. <laughs> so it wouldn't do us any good. <laughs> and uh, so, and so we don't want to bug the uh, the new owners too much. You know, we don't want to drive them crazy while we're waiting for the trailer to be ready for no. us to pick up. But we're confident it'll be ready to pick up by the time we get there. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And because uh, Tucker has been, and that's another thing we appreciate about Tucker, the salesperson at renowned cargo trailer sales, um, is that Tucker. Uh, always responds to our questions. He helps, he keeps us up to date on what's going on. He's been uh, great. Yeah, yeah. And we had a decent experience with the former broker, which was a different broker, even though we still got our trailer at rock solid. But the experience does not compare to the experience we've had with Tucker. It's a different situation. Yeah. It's different different. and it's, uh, it's very much appreciated. I hope Tucker gets a chance to watch this because Tucker, we love you, man. Anyway, anything else? Uh, we're just talking about a lot of people do a tape out on the floor, and yes, we will be doing that as well. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, it gets you a rough. It's all part of it. You know, it's all a visual thing. Plus, you know, it's. Um, yeah. You're trying to put a lot in a small space. We On this one, we bought tar paper and cut out the dimensions yes. of cabinets and cut out the dimensions <laughs> of appliances. And moved and them all around. And then slid them all around <laughs> inside there, you know, the dimensions of the shower stall and everything. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, we'll be doing stuff similar to that. Um, we have a really, really good idea. We automatically know that the bathroom is going to be four feet deep at the very back. It's we're right. going to come in four it's foot four deep. Four by eight. So it, it's going to that is that is solid. <laughs> that has to be because we had our side doors installed based on those dimensions. So if we fudge it all, it's only going to be, be an inch this and, way and or that way. The living room kitchen area is going to be eight by eight. We already know that because of the other door. Yeah. So, yeah, because of the know. way the door is, we already we know exactly where the refrigerator is going to be because we had to plan that when we had the front side door installed. So, um, you know, cer- certain things are set in stone. Not everything is set in stone, but certain things are, and then we will uh, accommodate those adjustments that way. That's right. Yeah, that's all you can do. That's all part of it. That's what you do. That's you know, right. in these things. That's so, right. Anything else? Nope. 137 still on. Um, building your trailer is, well, it, it is an obsession, Jennifer. Because um, once you get started on it, you just research and think and research and draw. And <laughs> so, yes. I hope I lose about 20 pounds while we're building this thing, too. Well. I hope I get all buff. and Where we're staying, and, they keep offering food, and I keep telling them, no, I know. no, no, you don't need to do that. Man, they're talking, they're talking. <laughs> Spare ribs every night, and uh, the his wife is of uh, uh, German descent, and so she has all these German dishes and everything that she yeah. she prepares. And 
And I've got to try to keep this this that wonderful figure. <laughs> <laughs> well, the stuff they're wanting to feed us, I'll I'll be able to maintain this figure with no problem whatsoever. <laughs> but I'm hoping that uh, you know this uh, mm -hmm. this will help me um, uh, improve in a couple of areas. Yeah. If you know what I mean. I know exactly. Yeah. Now, as far as your concern, though, dear, you're perfect as just the way you are. Too little, too late. Too little. What? Anyway. Any, anything else? I don't How think long so. have we been on? It you is know, been an hour and... Uh, yeah, gumbo, potato soup, shrimp, grits. Yeah. I know. See, you're already talking. Yeah. <laughs> and then where we're going down to Tallahassee, that particular person is a Southern style cook. <laughs> and we've had his potato soup. Oh my God. I, this ain't potato soup. It's something, it's, it's, it's something from heaven. It really Actually, is. I like the gumbo better. You like his gumbo better? Yeah, I do. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's watching right now. He knows exactly what we're talking about. He's what no. brought it up. But oh, anyway. he is. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> of course he is. Of course he is. Um, but uh, yeah, we're. Uh, what I, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, because it'll be in the heat, heat, heated part of the year and stuff like that, and we're going to be in the southeast part of the country, that I will sweat all this off during the day. We'll see. See what happens. Anything else before we go? We no. need to go. Yep. We need to go. Yes, we've been on long enough, and we appreciate all of you coming in and joining Den's us. Den's been coming evening. in several times. Have we acknowledged anything that Den has said? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. Nancy and Butch, say hi. Oh, Nancy and Butch. If you all didn't get a chance to watch, uh, yeah, and, it, and we got to pronounce it Nancy and Butch, because Nancy explicitly in the video said, yeah, yeah, Nancy and Butch. That's the way to say it. <laughs> uh, their video, we did a video walkthrough of their... Uh, cabin. How, how do we? I, I forgot how we worded that, but you'll recognize their travel it. Cabin. Their travel cabin. They built their particular trailer on a trailer that had been in the families for over fifty years, if I remember correctly. I believe that's right. And uh, they made it look like a uh, cabin. Like a cabin. And it was really cool, but you will recognize the video. And it's not that far back down the line from our videos. It's maybe the fourth one back or so like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, they are a wonderful couple. We had a lot of fun visiting with them while they were there visiting us in Florida. And Nancy, well, they're both a hoot, but Nancy. And they will be at the rendezvous. And they will be at the rendezvous. And they will have lots of stories to tell because they are uh, seasoned campers and travelers travelers and yeah in fact uh, we know that they're going to be uh, be ready and willing nancy you all think that i talk a lot just wait till nancy starts talking during the rendezvous when she starts telling her what are you saying i didn't mean it in a bad way sorry nancy Na <laughs> nancy <laughs> Anyway, but you'll get a kick out of Nancy. She'll have us all roar, roaring. We will be rolling in the aisles. I promise you, she is She is a hoot. So, Nancy, take good care of yourself so you can tell those stories with your husband, Butch. Okay? Yes. Anything else? Nope. We got to go, folks. We have really enjoyed visiting with everybody. We are so tickled that so many came on for this live presentation. Don't worry about us. We're going to be fine. Are we slowing down? No. Are we? I should say hell no. <laughs> No, no. Uh, uh, we're not quitting at all. We're moving forward. We have a lot of things left to do before it's time to hang it up. And I figure when we're roughly in our 80s, we might consider hanging it up then. But we'll just see what happens between now and then, right? Well, but you get with us on that Mississippi trip, Mississippi River trip. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you couldn't do the whole thing, it'd be great to do part of it. Right? Anyway, thank you all. Hope y'all have a great <laughs> evening. Hope to see you really soon. We'll be starting our build. No soon. later than May 1st, probably a little bit before that. Yes. Yeah. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you all know what we always say. Mm -hmm. We are not camping. We're living. You all get out there and do some living yourself. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.